Hi, this is a frog and this is a slow cooker. In this video, I teach you how to use one of them. So look at that, what a difference. Let's have a look. Spices, chili sauce, Worcester sauce, um, got some olive oil there, garlic, leek, good um, stock use there, callow, kalo, whatever you want to call them, lentils, chickpeas, beans, chopped tomatoes, new frying pan, slow cooker, um, what have we got there? Her got ground, some bunch coriander, beans. yeah, but mushrooms. Mushrooms. Get some olive oil. Yeah. Put a couple of gloves in the slow cooker. That's it. That'll do. Glove. Glove. Fine. Cool. Yeah. Now, if you get your chicken, one, two, chop up half of that leek. Nice. Doesn't really matter yet. The man is cooking. Okay, now you've just boiled the kettle, so just get a, a mug. Now, I want you to put two of those stock cubes in the mug. Yeah, there's no artificial colourings and MSG and stuff in there. So mash them up a bit in there. So put the put the mug on its side, so you kind of that's it, and press it, just so they kind of break up a little bit easier. Right, chuck some water in there. I'd say about 100 ml. I'd just make it up as I go along. Go on, half a quarter of a cup. Mix that up. Now just leave that on the side. Okay. Now garlic. I would say I, I like garlic, so I'm going to put three cloves in there. But what I do is. Cut the end off, I keep hold of the garlic, okay like that, cut the other end off, keep hold of the garlic and then with a knife, yeah, no, that's a lot. okay right, yeah. whatever you want mate. This is the thing with slow cookers right, don't, I wouldn't stress, you know, however you want it, it's all going in a pot, you're just going to chuck in, I don't know, up to you, half the packet. Yeah. Yeah. What I do with these, I trim the ends off. So what I do is I kind of just get yeah. roughly kind of get them all like this. Yeah. Okay. And then I just kind of knock the ends off there, and then I knock the end off there. Mm, tidy. Courgette going in now. Just cut the end off. Just the point. That's it. And the other end. Yeah. Good. And then just basically slice it how you want. You can either do it like that, yeah. however you want to. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to chuck in um, a whole chip, tin of chopped tomatoes, a whole tin of chickpeas, and probably half of these mixed beans, and also a big handful of lentils. So this is all like the beans and pulses um, going in, going in here, stacked with nutrients, protein, all sorts. Okay, but what we're going to do with the, with the beans is we're going to rinse all the kind of stuff that comes with it because the water gets a bit salty and stuff. So um, We'll rinse these beans, the beans in, the, the chickpeas in there. Yeah. Rinsing them under the cold water. That's it. Put them in there. And we're going to do these with the um, the mixed beans as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And chuck them in. So you can see over there is the um, cooker. Good. We're going to give that a little bit of a stir now. So we've got some red, some red lentils there. A hat cut handful. Right. Yeah. So actually, gang, that was a big. Probably two cupped handfuls of lentils. I think that's about it for the spice it up. So um, we 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 had some some stock, some two beef stock cubes in there. Yeah. So they're nice and dissolved now. Wrap it in, dude. See us. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Glance them in that. Go. Much. Yeah, go. I don't know. That'll do. That'll do. See. Just cayenne pepper. Ground cumin, chuck that in. Good. Paprika! There she goes. Come on, keep going. Hot chili sauce, it's lush stuff this is. And all that's in it really is water, dried chili peppers, and a little bit of salt and vinegar and some spices. How spicy do you like the food? Quite spicy. Alright, grab some in there. Thank you. Good spice. Some salt. Good grinding of Timberlay of salt and pepper. Grind it. Oh, listen to that! Enough. Grind it up. Good, that's enough. Because you have got probably like five 
So with this, with this folks, you've got, you are cooking a lot, so it's probably about five portions, so whack it in there. That's about it. Okay, so that's what it looked like. Yeah. So give it a good stir, okay? Now you'll see there's not, there's a bit of fluid in the bottom, but there's not too much, because some of the thing with slow cooker is, you get a lot of fluid from it, so not, don't overdo it in the fluid. The veg will um, kind of release that fluid, okay? I haven't really got a clue about cooking, I just kind of taught myself. I mean, look, that's not, you know, what's going to go wrong with that? Nothing, so. It's not rocket science. Really yeah, I know, so. This is the setting, so Mark wants to try and eat this for tea, so. The slow cooker is on. How do you feel, dude? Awesome. Right. Hungry. <laughs> All right. So there's a little bit of advertising there for Porter Cabin. Do you work for them? Yeah. Funny enough. Yeah. Okay, so we've just written this down. So if it usually takes, if it, if the dish usually takes 15 to 30 minutes, high cook, high on the slow cooker, one to two hours, low on the slow cooker, four to six, uh, root veg, bottom of the pot, basically, because sometimes it takes longer. Um, put it on high for kind of maybe two to three hours. Yeah. Now, you could just leave that all day the smell will be lovely you can either have that on its own because it's quite nutritious yeah okay um it's got loads of pulses lent it's got lentils and beans and loads of veg in there it's got protein with a chicken it's got good fats from the yes. olive oil so there's loads of stuff in there you can just have that in a bowl freeze or fridge it'll keep in the fridge probably two three days yeah okay because there's chicken in there so probably two yeah. it'll freeze for kind of a i don't know google it i don't want to yeah. say but it'll freeze for a while okay right. yeah Good man. Yeah. Happy.